Now, local businesses in the Roseburn area of Edinburgh fear they could go bust if plans to build a new cycle track outside their shops goes ahead. Under the plans, Edinburgh City Council will install protected cycle lanes on main roads in a bid to make cycling more accessible. Campaigners are calling for the route to be changed. Susan Ripple reports. Kadir Kavak has been running this cafe in Roseburn for 10 years. The morning breakfast rush is his busiest time of the day, but he's concerned the proposals to install a cycle track on the road outside could force him to close. I am guessing within a year I'll lose my business because my outgoing will never ever change. My rent rates, uh, stuff on electric, gas bill, they will still the same whether I'm making uh, money or no. The proposals which will run past Roseburn Terrace onto West Coats and down to Haymarket Terrace and beyond will include a two-way cycle track on this side of the road. Under the plans, off-peak parking will be removed and there'll be a reduction in the number of traffic lanes. George Rendell owns the art shop across the road. He fears reducing parking will lead to a big drop in the number of people visiting the area. On average, 40% of the customers that come here come by car. If we lose 25% of the 40% at least, that's a big drop in turnover. And in the economic climate we're in, it would be very damaging for most shops. George and Kadir are just two of many local business owners who have launched a campaign urging the council to rethink the route, which it says will help more and more people get around the city by bike. The job we have to do now is take those comments and concerns and try and refine our scheme to make sure that as many of them as possible are taken cognizance of so that when we get to a final design uh, for the scheme it has as many people in the community supporting it as possible. Next Wednesday the group will take their petition which has gained 1800 signatures to the council but it'll be several months before any decision on the future of this area will be made. Susan Ripple, STV News, Roseburn.